Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering mushroom cards. Home Assistant comes with a default set of cards called Lovelace that you can use on your dashboard straight out of the box. These are very functional and allow you to create some stunning dashboards, but they can be a little bulky and take up a lot of real estate on your screen. Now developers realized this and along came Paul Pitya with a set of minimalistic dashboard cards that even the likes of Apple would be happy to adopt. Paul loaded these onto the Home Assistant Community Store and called them Mushroom Cards. There are 13 cards to install and use, so in this video we'll show you how to install these from Hacks, how to install them on a dashboard, then walk you through a comparison of each Mushroom card to the equivalent Lovelace card. Then we'll show you their features and some alternatives so that you can use these to obtain the perfect look. So let's get out of the dark and pick those mushrooms. As mentioned, the mushroom cards are available from the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks as it's better known as. I released a video only a few weeks ago that showed you a super simple way of installing the new improved Hacks V2. I'll put a link in the pop-up above to that video. Once installed, come back to this video. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. Search for Mushroom. Select the repository with the dashboard icon next to it. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Press download for the latest version. Press reload to reload your browser. The download button should have disappeared from the bottom right hand corner, signifying that the mushroom cards have been successfully downloaded. Now you are ready to use your mushroom cards on your dashboards. Let's add a mushroom card to a dashboard. Once you learn it for one, you can do it for all. I'll be adding the mushroom entity to a section view dashboard. If you don't know what a section view dashboard is, then watch the video in the pop-up above. Navigate to a dashboard. Press the pencil icon in the top right hand corner. Press the plus icon in the dotted rectangle. Search for mushroom. This will bring up all the mushroom cards that are available to be added. Select custom mushroom entity card. Clear out the entity that was preloaded by pressing the X to the right. Select the entity you wish to add. I'll be selecting the Lounge Motion Sensor Microwave. Now press Save. The card will be added showing the name and the status of the entity. You can repeat this process for any other Mushroom card. Now let's run through all 13 Mushroom cards and compare with their equivalent Lovelace cards and give you alternatives. The first Mushroom card is the Alarm card. Now in the example you can see the default settings for the Mushroom card the Lovelace card and an alternative that I personally use which is the Alarmo card. Check out the video for the home built alarm system from within Home Assistant in the pop up above. If we look at the configuration that's available for the Mushroom Alarm card, you can define a display name for the card plus a user definable icon. You can switch the orientation from the default which is the square to a compact horizontal or vertical with a preview to the right hand side. The fill container is supposed to use all of the available space. However, as we are using a section view card, if we switch to layout, you can expand the card size to our requirements. This is true of all cards when using the section view. You can change the primary information, which are the top line and defaults to the name, which is the home alarm. And you can have attributes of state, last changed, last updated or none plus the secondary information which has the same attributes. Jumping to the bottom, you get the usual of what happens for a tab or a single press behavior, a hold or a double tap. All of these having actions for more information, navigate to a dashboard, navigate to a URL, perform an action and assist or nothing. Now all of this information we just ran through are common across all mushroom cards. We'll be focusing on the specifics for each card that the mushroom card brings. Then we can set the displayable states to Arm Home, Arm Away, Arm Night, Arm Vacation and Custom Bypass. Remember that although you can set the states, you need to use this information to be functional. Next we have the Covers Mushroom card. Here we have all the same controls for name, icon, layout, fill container, primary and secondary information plus the icon. However this time we have some additional controls for position control, tilt and control buttons. Remember the primary focus of the mushroom cards are minimalistic and for that purpose it achieves its end result. Lovelace doesn't have a direct replacement for the cover card, but if you prefer there is a Hacks Blinds card available, links in the description. 
Next is the Entity card. This is probably the most used of all the Mushroom cards. Its small form factor and brief but concise information allow it to have various uses, from displaying information to a button with a tap action to toggle a switch. There are no special attributes here, so the choice is yours to aesthetics between the Mushroom card or the Lovelace card. In the Fan card, you get all the basic controls as before, but this time you get additional controls for percentage, oscillate, and a very handy function to collapse the controls when off. Lovelace doesn't have a direct replacement card here, but Hax has several fan cards. Be they the compact star with buttons for speeds, to an animated card that offers full controls, but sacrifices desktop real estate to achieve this impressive card. Next is the light card. We get all the default attributes as before, plus the ability to display the colour of the light in the icon and the slider. You can display a brightness slider, which is super helpful and easy to control. There is an option for temperature, which is a toggle that switches the slider between temperature and brightness. And a colour toggle switch that makes the slider available to adjust the colour. I don't find this as useful as the colour circle, but it's there if you need it. And finally, a collapse option to hide the slider if the light is turned off. I've displayed some alternative hacks cards for the RGB Light Entity card and the Hue Like Light card. But if you want to see more options, then why not check out my video for light cards in the pop-up above. The Mushroom Person card simply shows information relating to the person entity selected. As such, it doesn't have a corresponding Lovelace card, but has similar functionality to Lovelace badges. Although with recent enhancements to badges, they have more functionality with the same dashboard space. So it depends on where you want to display the information as badges are only available at the top of the dashboard. The Mushroom Template card is similar to the Lovelace Markdown card, but allows for a much greater degree of control via YAML code to manipulate the output. In the example shown, I have the Mushroom Template card and the Lovelace Markdown card both showing the same output of counting the number of lights that are on. This card alone deserves its own video just to walk through the possibilities. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see one. The Mushroom Chip cards have the similar functionality to the Lovelace badges, which are more functional now, although having the ability to place these anywhere on the screen as opposed to the top line does have its advantages. The Mushroom Title card is similar to the Mushroom Templating card, but with a lot less options. Its equivalent in Lovelace would be the Markdown card, which has a lot less functionality. Then we have the Mushroom Update card, which is one of my favourites, and we used extensively in the Home Assistant Update Tracker video. Check out that video in the pop-up above if you'd like to create this for your Home Assistant instance. The Mushroom Climate card allows for a simple temperature control, plus a toggle to select the mode of operation, which are all selectable. All of this is collapsible when not in use for the ultimate compact view. Lovelace doesn't have a direct replacement card, but the better thermostat card would be my suggested alternative. But for more information, watch the video in the pop-up above for my review of the various other thermostat cards. Media cards in general are by definition very configurable and user-specific, hence a lot of focus is placed on these cards. The Mushroom card offers a well thought out but minimalistic approach. It will show you the source of the media, plus you get volume controls, mute and media controls for turn on, turn off, shuffle, previous, next track, repeat, play, pause and stop all of which are collapsible when not in use. While there is a media card within Lovelace, for an alternative I would recommend using the Hax Mini Media Player, links in the description. Although this card does require you to have a basic understanding of YAML, it's well supported by the community and offers a very configurable option. The Mushroom Vacuum card does not have a direct Lovelace alternative card available. The Mushroom Vacuum card only has basic functionality of stop, start and home, but it's functional and does the job, and in as small a space as possible. I don't have a robot vac that can be controlled through this, but I use the same card for my robot mower. For more features, I suggest using the vacuum card from Hacks from Denny's Dovin, links in the description, or the Zioni vacuum card, but this does require some manual installation as it can't be installed directly from Hacks. but it's feature rich and offers great visuals direct on the card. So that's all the Mushroom cards, installed, available and to be used within your dashboards. 
They are the ultimate in minimalistic cards and really should be on your list for your first installations from Hacks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member to get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you minimize your dashboard, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.